everybody and welcome back to Danny Danny's Real Tech Mod Pack. I died a few times, I have to be honest with you. Um once I sort of I think they're a bit cold, it's winter time. And I've had to build get myself this suit here. So as you can see I've got a suit on, let's have a look. I have got a woolen suit which gives me basically one armor point, but it also gives me one heat point. Now, Crater Aid gave me a tip. I said use don't forget to use temp tan temp info so tam is slash tan for tough as nails uh try to get that right temp info this only works for cheats by the way so because i enabled cheats so you'll see that the armor level here gives me a plus four it helps a little bit i'm standing by the furnace that sort of helps most as it happens um because I've got a plus 12 from that and you, as the season as you can see it is a minus 14 season so that's very nasty as it happens it's very cold winter is very cold now let's come out of there now oops wrong button let's press f5 again and I will look at my journey map I have found some desert I've spent a long time looking at as you can see I've been all the way around here found an enormous jungle over here with some bees in it and a coconut tree and a few bits of Difficult to find doors in jungles, and this is all tiger around this. That's not very. Does it tell me that says plate now? Oh, yeah, it does say tiger on the bottom here. It's a bit smaller font. I wonder if I can make this font a bit bigger. So you've got tiger, tiger all the way around here. So that's a cold biome. This is a flower forest. So I'm just wondering how we actually could get to that without getting frozen to death. Um, I see jungle up here. Sunflower plains, okay. I think that might be a good way to get there, but we've got to go past all these extreme hills over here. Oh, and I died a few times. Look here, this was one. I just died at the base because a skeleton came and not a skeleton, keeper dropped on me and blew me up. <laughs> oh, I've not been doing too well recently. Uh, anyway, so let's have a look. I would like to get to this because if I can get to this, I can get some cactus. If I can get some cactus, it'll be night time, but I can sleep. I didn't even realise it was night time. That's, I was just having a look at the map going, ooh, there are actually a lot of mobs on there. Anyway. So, here's a campfire. I built a campfire, but unfortunately with a campfire, it doesn't last long enough. But, I've got it in here. Yes, I've got some packing in here. Let's uh, get rid of some of this stuff get rid of some of this stuff we can then go for a trip you see i've got some coconut cocoa beans so there and i also got lots of ice cubes now that's going to be very useful the ice cubes we can use is for a uh, a cooler when, we, when the summer comes again so next time we're going to go to this in the summer we've got some cooler so that's pretty good and actually something went wrong i think because what happened is i had lost my backpack it just completely disappeared. I couldn't find it anywhere. And then when I got blown up by the skeleton, nasty thing, I, I appeared again. I was going, oh, that's a bit weird. So I'm going to put these, this stuff around here. She found an orchid as well. Um, if we keep the leather down at the bottom. Seeds, we can get that up here. Tomato seeds. I don't think there's much use for tomato seeds. Another nice sapling. Let's, oh, actually, let's put those into that one here. Tropical gardens. Lupins I probably don't need. Is there anything else I can get rid of in here? Oh, yes, a few thirds of pieces. Let's get rid of the rest of them outside. I did build some storage drawers. Because I thought it was about time. Let's get rid of that stuff there. And let's get rid of the snibbles there. What else have we got? Cobblestone. Bits and pieces. And I think everything got doubled. So I've got two sets of armour. So when it came back, I got two sets of armour, which I think is actually... A bug, but it's not the end of the world. I've got a pair of shears. I'll need that. I'll need a flint and steel, definitely. A uh, pair of shields would definitely need a pair of shears because that's good for wood. And let's get rid of this. Let's make some rotting. Let's turn this rotting flesh into something useful. Put it onto the onto the drying racks. Come on, put it as I can. Good. At least that way we get some jerky. Put the other bits in here as it happens. So what else have I got on here that I don't need for the timing? Probably leather. I'll leave the sapling in here. And another death in 
that's info. <coughs> right, and I've got a place for saplings actually. Let's go out of that. Now I've been putting the saplings in one of these chests, and there's some pollution there from that torch. Which one I asked this one to be putting in the let's, so let's get rid of these saplings in there. So we've already got 64 of those. Let's get rid of these flowers. Cooked fish will keep with us. So we've got a set of armor. I don't need the backpack. I've got a the other backpack doubled as well. Brilliant. Well, it saves me making one, I guess. Um, in fact, let's go put the armor away in this chest down here. I'm definitely, I could probably throw it. Oops, I want. Oh, I've got two of those as well. So everything that was in the backpack got doubled up. So it's a shame I haven't got a stack of lemons with me. So that's basically that. Now what else have we got in here that I don't want? Probably the dirt. Seed bricks we probably don't need for the time being. Rocks we don't need. We'll keep the sharpening kits. We'll get rid of the extra bits and pieces and string. So I was doing quite a lot of stuff, work with string as it happens. So let's... Uh, and I was actually killing quite a few sheep for the wool. Of course, I don't need to kill the sheep for the wool. That was just a. Uh, I wanted the. I actually wanted the flesh, but uh, to eat. But here we go. So I can get rid of those there. And I get rid of that one into there. And I think that my inventory is almost sorted out. The sharpening kit. I'll put the sharpening kit down here. It's actually a shame I shouldn't have made that sharpening kit because I haven't got enough. To, I haven't got. Oh, where's it gone to? I had another um, dry, drying rack here. Must have got blown up by the creeper. Okay, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll just put it into this. I'll just put it in here for the time being. We can see it, so it's not too bad. I won't lose it too much. And I think it might have got blown up by the creeper. Quite a bit did. So what have I got here? I've got my prospectus pick. Got some of those. I've got a sleeping bag. Very important. I've got that. I don't need those. That's basically my toolkit. This is reasonably full, and I should have some charcoal filters in here, which I have. Good. Let's pick up this thing then. All right, good. Remembering to shift left click it, and I can get rid of the dirt, and I can get rid of the cobblestone because I need that, I don't think. Good. Probably don't need the sticks either, but I'll we'll take the sticks and we'll take the eucalyptus wood with us. Now, the reason for that. Oh, did I? Yes, I should have put. I'm going to put. I'm going to put it down again in my backpack because in here I've got a furnace. I thought I had a furnace because a furnace it was pretty useful for keeping ourselves warm. Where have they all gone to? Yeah, I think something's got a bit messed up when I when I got blown up by the creeper. <laughs> I definitely did mess up some stuff because. I should have a furnace. We'll make, a, we'll make another furnace because it's useful to have a furnace with us. Because I can use that as a, um, a heating tool. So we've got some charcoal, but we'll put the charcoal in there. Right, sorry. Let me just put this back on here. That's what I wanted to do. So we've got water. We've got food. I think we've got everything we need. We'll just take some charcoal with us because we've got plenty of charcoal in here now. I'll take about four, I think. That's six will do. So that we can use in the fire. We can take this eucalyptus wood and make more charcoal. That will keep us warm. So what temperature is it now? So it's our target's 10. So I have to go now. We need to go this direction. So do I have with me a... I had a crafting table and I think that's disappeared. Let's just make another one because the reason I want one is to we'll make a boat. I think we can make a boat. Let's do it. Anyway, let's make a boat now anyway because we're going to have to go across the sea. Let's take this out of here yet again. Oh, can I not make a boat with eucalyptus? Planks, really? That's weird. Okay, I have to get a different wood. <laughs> hmm. That's a bit strange. I'll put, this, I'll put these planks in here. We don't need those with us. We've got to, that'll do. Two beach wood. We can definitely make birch, birch wood um, boats. 
So we'll do that. Right, so we need to go this way. So, what temperature, it doesn't really matter what time of day it is to be honest with you. It's probably better to go in the, at lunchtime, but lunchtime isn't so easy. In fact, we can actually go on the boat here, can't we? Uh, let's put the boat down here and get in it. Oops. <laughs> if I can drive it, that is. It's not that easy to drive. But we can get out here like that. Press shift and out we get. Then we can come back, boat. <laughs> it's gone for a walk. Hopefully it's not going to go too far. And if it does, I'll just make another one. Right, we'll make another one. For, oh no, I want it because I want to go over here. But I don't want to get in the water to get it. Oh, I've had it. Look at that. Darn. Right. Let's chop down a tree because we're getting cold. And I've got to be quick. If I start at the top of the tree here. See? Oh, yeah. We could do it. Good. We should get a sapling, I think. Yes, we've got one. Good. Plant a tree back again. I'll have to make another boat. This is going to be an exciting trip, I can tell to start with. You see, it's all iced up here as well. That's causing a little bit of a problem because it is just so cold. <laughs> and it really does make life quite difficult. But this looks like a reasonably clear bit. So let's put the table down here like that. Make another boat. Can't use eucalyptus wood. Can we even use this one? Now, are we hot enough? That's the question. Seven pieces. At the moment it's not too bad okay good we're at, we're at we reached our equilibrium so to speak Pick this up again let's put the boat down in here and get in it and off we go and of course you got to press the a and the d button on this one we'll have a quick check on the map actually now I'll, i'm actually going there make sure i'm going in the right direction i think i am where am i click the follow button I still don't see where I am. Goodness. I basically need to go... Let's have a look. This direction, isn't it? So we need to go sort of south-east. I still don't see where I am. I think I'm hidden somewhere. Never mind. Southeast, And it's coming up to night time, which is actually... Eh. And we're cold. Right. Can't mess around. I've got to go and get out of the water here. Light light the thing and then shift to get out walk up here quickly as we can put down the furnace and sleep or well, maybe we can just sleep actually hopefully we don't freeze in the night time yeah we're all right Phew. let's get back into the boat and then go again so I have to press S to go out of this don't I So I want to go southwestish, uh, southeast. Yeah. I hope we will we'll spot a jungle fairly quickly. Now the not a jungle, a, for, a desert. Now the desert temperature for this is actually plus ten, so that means that we're okay in terms of keeping yourself cool or warm, as it is. It happens to be. <laughs> yes, I've got myself confused again, haven't I? So, so the biome temperature here is minus three because we're in ocean. What are we coming to here? Is this jungle? I think this is jungle. I think desert, sorry. I seem to have got myself a little bit obsessed. Yeah, this is desert. And that actually isn't so far away. Yep. Look at the, look at the rabbits. Now that's what we got here okay that's copper now these things we can use so we'll take the shears and we need to use shears on these of course and we can share these and then we should get the fruit oh I thought we could actually pick up the things as well okay 
maybe not so what are we in we're in desert good so we've got a, a temperature now of in the biome is biome only four okay we'll get wet that'll give us a minus seven which isn't very good but we should get biome temperature plus seven there we go that's more likely more like it i mean what's this thing in here oh aloe vera is that what we need for green Let's have a look at the uses of that. That's rustic. Advanced alchemy. So we can use this to make okay, elixir of fire resistance. So that's pretty good. We'll take some of this. Maybe we can grow this bracket. Can I shift left click it now? Maybe we can plant it, I don't know. We'll try. We'll try that when we get nearer to home. So what have we got here? Some cactus. Now I discovered something with cactus. I was trying to do it in like the old fashioned way of Minecraft, so knocking off the top, but the top, because of this mod that drops things down, was dropping the bits down, so you've got to break them on the bottom, and you can pick them all up then. Ah, oh, shift left click, and that picked up the Arid Garden, oh it's an Arid Garden, okay. Not what I wanted, what's this thing? Don't know. A you a yucca. I don't care about the arid garden. What have we got here? Cactus, Ferdinand's flowers. What can we do with this one? Nothing. Right, we'll just simply plant that back again and not mess around with it. But we'll take some more cactus with us. a little explore about here because you never know there is another thing that gives flowers I think it's this cactus here Ooh, some bees I better be careful of those they're gonna they're gonna hurt and it's not night time now this cactus is the one that will also produce a flower now can we can we do this one do I have to use the shears on this one let's just try Shift left clicking it, nope. So maybe this, I don't know, how, what's it called? A Sarguino cactus. This one gives you a fruit when it rains. Now, I haven't yet seen any rain in this pack. That's a bit strange. I, you'd expect to see rain, some sort of rain at some stage, wouldn't you? So you need to now I'm getting hot. <laughs> sure, I can take this off. And that should bring my temperature down to something normal because 12 the, the target and the season's only minus seven now is that because of the time of day oh, i don't know now question is why do we need cactus well we need cactus for two reasons one reason is the one for the um aquamundo with Aquamundo we need we needed that because what was that? Grinch. Because <laughs> we need it for hoses. But there is something more important that we need it for. So what have we got here? As you're right. In fact I might as well do some mining. Because as you're right, if I remember right, it's copper and there's a lot of it in this block. So let's just get the um Let's just get the pick, the prospectus pick out here, and you right click the ground, and it says yes. So as you right, is found in this area, and you can see the chunk. So there's basically a lot of one, two, three, four, five, six, six deposits of, no, even seven I think, in this chunk. So that basically means we've got a big, big deposit of that, and that's copper. So we're going to need that for immersive engineering as far. And let me double check it because I ain't completely sure. As you're right. Uh, this one. So that appears. Oh, it's a big range. So we need to go down to 48, right down to levels. Well, we'll try it anyway. So I'll tell you what. I shall go and do some digging and come back when I've found something. See you in a short while. Well, you know, that didn't take too long. Look found it 
almost dome deposits so it's straight down from this block here so let's put a torch down here and go and see if we can find it so I also would like to make so maybe three blocks along here and go down one I think yeah we'll do it that way go down from here I'm not sure if it's going to be down here yeah indeed it is perfect so the best path I'm not exactly sure of but it can't be more than five blocks down so we've gone I think already two so we shouldn't take too long to find this that's probably just that four that's three okay put another torch down here that's the fourth torch go and carry on mining so is it down from here because it'll, it'll be a big it'll be a big one because we've got uh, a big cluster because there's six samples on the surface let's just double check it's actually down here no deposits found here or here so therefore we can go around we'll go around here now My pick's just about broken, but that's no big deal. In fact, I think if we go start going down here, we should find some more. No, nope, not that way. Not that way. Yes, exactly. So it's south of it. So we're working our way towards it. I'll just put another torch down here. So I reckon it's about one or so blocks below where we are. Right, the, to the pickaxe bloke. Did you notice that then? We just had a little flick of stuff. Um, where's my sharpening kit? Have I not got a sharpening kit with me? I should have. Oh dear, I think that probably got lost in the... I'll tell you what, let's put the backpack down here. There's something really weird. St See, I can't pr shift right click that out. Why not? Huh, okay, I'll have to use my this pick, well, my good pick, my diamond pick, with haste on it. Uh, I just don't really want to. <laughs> but we're not too far away from home. We can always come back. There we go. So now it, there it is. There's a cluster. And it will be a nice big one. So how far do I can I? Yes, I can go across here, can I? Oh, that's a... Let's have a look, let's dig it out a bit, see what how big it is. It'll probably be huge this cluster, look at that. Just getting to mine up is gonna be a bit of a challenge. Let's take away some of these blocks here. What's oh, a bit like there? It looks a bit dark. I probably should have left that in there. Let's put light let's light up the area a bit as well. So uh, this is a whopper. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to base. I don't need to dig up too much copper here. We've got how many have we got? Eight. It's actually not that many. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll go off camera again and carry on digging this up because I don't think there's any point in watching me do this. Is there? So I'll see you in a minute. Well. I've got stacks, so I'm going to come back. Actually, I'm taking a screenshot because I'm just going to use that for the for the for the intro. And as you can see, this copper this copper bit here is very big. Um, so we've got a good place. It's not too far away. So we shall come back later on. Now, what I've done here is, if you look at, mm, I've actually disabled them. Let's go and have a look at that because I basically hid all the waypoints. So if I go to the journey map, journey map. Here and you've got waypoints I basically turn them all off but if I put these ones back on here these four what I've done is basically if you look on the mini map here you'll see there's a oh, I changed the size of the mini map a bit I made it a little bit bigger and I made the font a bit bigger you'll see there's a where I am standing now it's actually off the off out of the chunk but there's four markers let's go and have a look at that on the surface it's probably easier to look at it on the surface I've also turned off something else on the maps as well I think we have to go back let me get out of here. <laughs> oh, yes, this is the way. Oh, 
I'm not sure that it's day or night time to be honest with you. It looks like it's night time. What I'm going to do is just make a little hole here. We'll have a sleep. Let's go back to... Ooh, gravel. That gave me, ooh, that gave me a shot. Well, I'm going to complain about having a bit of extra gravel. Let's put the sleeping bag down. No space for the sleeping bag, so I have to get back one more. Oh, we can only sleep at night. Oh, so it's not, it's not daytime. It's nighttime. Good. But it looks. Oh, rain! I got rain in the desert. The only place I found rain. Oops! There's a skeleton there. Let's run. <laughs> See what I mean? It gets shot. I've got no armor on. Brilliant. <laughs> and I think it's coming up to nighttime, isn't it? And there's snow. Goodness. Let's put this on. The mobs aren't affected by this, but I am. Is it night time now? You can only sleep at night. I can't tell whether it's night time or not. But you'll notice that the... I've now got snow in the desert, and I didn't have it when I was mining. That's actually some useful information. There's a creeper down there, so I've got to watch out for him. So where did I put that boat? We're going to get cold fairly quickly. What's the temperature? Oh no, 14 is target. That's fine. I'm sure the boat's down here somewhere. Do you know it does look like it does look like night time. Nope, it's definitely not. Maybe it's just a, maybe it's a storm. The snowstorm, brilliant, huh? Go to the desert and you get a snowstorm. Um, do you know, I can't find my boat. Can't be very far away. There is one thing that happens to boats actually, that if this ice forms, they get destroyed. And I'm sure it was here. Okay, we'll have to make another one. I think we've still got what we need to make us. We got one good. Let's put this down here like that. Let's get on to another boat. Uh, yes, one piece will do, won't it? Well, that's a bit of a shame. Let's pick up the table. Right now, where's base? There's the only marker I did enables over there. Good. Right, we'll put. Put the boat down. We're actually going to survive this. I th oh, minus three target temperature. That's actually not very good. So let's get as quick as we can towards base, and, or at least if we're not going to get to base, 600 blocks away. The nice thing about boats is you do go quite fast. So the target temperature now is minus two. And I'm wet. No, I'm not wet. It's just because I'm in the boat. Okay, that's interesting. So we're up to five. We need to go and find some land as quickly as we can. Actually, we're not very far away. Hopefully, we're not going to freeze in the meantime. Some land over here. Let's go and land on this land, so to speak. Ha ha ha. I've got to get a fire because we're already taking damage, you see? Shift. Let's get out of here. Let's put down the furnace as quickly as we can. Where's it gone to there? God. I wasn't really quick enough with this one, was I? Let me get that going. So let's put some charcoal and some wood in it. And as soon as we do that, we'll start to take heat. So that's good. Wow. And now it says target temperature 22. That's interesting. But of course I've taken quite a lot of damage from that one. Probably about two hearts worth, or maybe even more. No, I was down to three, wasn't I? Yes, two hearts. Let's pick up the boat. Good. Now what you can do, of course, is break the ice. What are we doing for temperature? That's fine. We'll, do, we'll break some ice here, look. 
and then this will give you ice chunks and these we can use if we have a look at that if it's in the toughest nails bit ooh probably not close enough we could do with a magnet but we don't have one so let's have a look six so look at the uses of those see we can make a temperature regulator uh, from one of these cooling coils now the cooling coils are actually not that difficult they're basically four cobbles well three cobblestone and four cubes that's pretty good isn't it so we don't need that many ice cubes and one redstone um, and you just put a, a lever on those and you're fine so that's quite good and the other thing while we're here so we'll look at this the uses of this stuff here cactus I didn't pick up that much cactus okay we can make a, a, a part cactus part builder is this uh, this one healing solve healing solve will actually gives you one and a half health points back again I think so we need vines no big deal cactus because I got those from the jungle cactus seeds bowls no big deal and yellow and red flower and any flower this one's basically any minecraft flower and this is dandelion so that's that so this has now gone out and we're getting cold again as you can see so we'll just uh, pick this up <laughs> quite useful to be able to get a little bit more wood well we should be not too far away from home so let's go back to base 160 blocks and if you sprint that gives you plus three as well now can I get over this without getting oh there's my other boat <laughs> um, right, I'm gonna get wet because I'm gonna have to get cold but we can carry on sprinting and that'll warm us back up again Oops, I don't really want to go in the water, but we're going to have to go because I think that's the direction of home. And I know there's another place where home is a bit awkward. Let's get out of here. Come on, out we go. And there we are. Whew. One thing that's actually really interesting in this pack, in this in this particular area, do put that, is that. This village is really is surrounded by by water. Um, I can show you that, but let's go let's go back home first of all. Because what I did when I was a little cheated a little bit to find the desert, I went into um, game mode three, which is uh, spectator mode. And in spectator, oh, the wrong room. In spectator mode, what I did is um, let's go put this down over here. Oh, oh, that explains a lot. <laughs> I thought I picked up my backpack. Did I pick up the wrong one? Or did I forget to pick it up in the first place? Well, that's confusing me, I have to be honest with you. And anyway, we'll eat this fish. This fish gives us three and two and a half hearts, which is plenty. And then we can go and get some water. And the next episode, I don't think I've got time to do it this episode we can do some more aquamanda stuff um let's go and fill up this thing have i got some water oh it's got two 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 drinkings of purified water that's fine and then it's empty um let's just go down here and get another because crops are growing in here there we go that's not purified water but um of course now's a good chance to get some more of those I skip so let's do that while I'm here. I think. Yeah. Did we pick any up then? I don't think we did. Oh, we got. No, I don't think we did because it's any flashing up there, did you? So we should be able to finish off the Aquaman stuff. Well, it's been a bit of an exciting episode. This bit is quite tough actually. Let's put that in there. Shall dump the the marker we'll get rid of some of the stuff that we've got I actually picked up some sandstone when I was mining as well so so until next time I wish you all the best uh, hopefully it's, it's spring when I come back again because at the moment it really is a bit on the chilly side anyway until then bye for now <laughs>